Hey everybody, welcome to today's video. Today's video, we're just gonna do a video on the differences between the 231J, which is commonly found in your Jeep TJ, XJ, and we're gonna compare it to a 231C that I got out of an S10 pickup truck. There is quite a few differences, but apparently you can swap these cases around. So let's just have a look at the differences that we see and go from there. As you can see right here in the bench, this is the 231C. This, I believe, is out of a 96 and 97 S10. It's got the correct input shaft for the 4L60 transmission. That's why I'm going to use this and mix it with the 231J. This is the 231J right here. It's got the slip yoke eliminator already installed. So you can see right there. And the original 231J had a snout similar to what this one here is. Differences just looking right off the bat. Um, the front output shaft here, I'm going to get a better picture of it, is different from the one on the Jeep. The bolt pattern and the input shaft is also different. As you can see, the way the vent tube is on both of them is different. Your four-wheel drive selector switch is different. Vehicle speed sensor is a big one between the two. And of course the transfer case chain. This is the transfer case chain out of a Jeep. And this is the 231C. Huge difference. Some of the first differences we're gonna look at between the 231C and 231J is the four-wheel drive selector switch. The one on the 231J, the Jeep is electric where the one that was off the Chevy is vacuum with those three little vacuum ports now this one here is actually very important especially if you want to do an LS swap and do what I'm doing by utilizing a 231C and a 231J because I don't want to buy the adapter and I want to create my own the speedometer pickup the one on the Jeep, this is off a slip yoke eliminator, different electrical plug-in. The one off the Chevy has 40 teeth where this sensor reads. Now this is going to become a problem, like I said, if you're doing an LS swap and you want to retain the Jeep Speedo, you have to buy a Dakota Digital Signal Splitter if you want to do what I'm doing in order to split the signal. So the Jeep signal I'm going to use is going to go to the speedometer and the signal wire is going to be going into a box to split for the signal to work off of that so that the computer for the LS will be able to shift the gears. Anyways, let's get more in depth on what we're actually dealing with here. This is the one off the Jeep. This is the one off the Chevy. The profile in the middle is cut the same. It looks like the teeth on the side are cut the same. Just this profile is different. So in my transfer case build, I'm going to retain the Chevy. Now the shift forks are different. This is the one out of the Jeep. It actually seems a little more beefier than the one that's out of the Chevy. But I don't know if that profile is going to make a big difference. That's something I'm going to have to use because I might just use this one. Just because it looks like it's a little bit more stronger than what the Chevy one is. That's something I'm going to have to consider. I'm not sure yet. So I got lucky in the transfer case that I got. However, it was not an HD transfer case. But it did come with the 1.25 chain, which I'm going to utilize where the stock Jeep had a 1 inch chain. So what you're looking at here is the front output shafts. Because the Jeep is running the one inch chain, it's got the smaller gear, where this is 1.25. Also, um, the Jeep is designed for a yoke, where this one here is like a CV style. However, in my build, I got a 1.25 coming with a yoke style. So I should have that hopefully in a couple weeks. So this one here was actually interesting for me for shifting. Um, this is the one out of the Jeep, and it's just very simple. I mean, it's like three parts for this one. However, 
this is out of the Chevy and so you got this one that comes out you got a brass ring on top of that and then you got this piece I don't know if I want to pop it out because it's spring loaded it might just go flying so I'm just going to leave it and that part sticks in there what we're looking at right here is the planetaries the one out of the Jeep is a three gear planetary one two three where the one out of the Chevy is a four gear planetary one two three four so what I'm going to do is take two of the planetary gears out of the Jeep and we're going to install them in this one here so I can have a six gear planetary, make it stronger, make it better. All that being said, what you're seeing right now on the table is the two transfer cases taken apart, the 231C, the 231J, and we're getting ready to build a bulletproof transfer case for my LS swap. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video on the small differences between the 231C and the 231J, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.